Last time we found the volume of a solid revolution. This time we're going to find the volume of a hollow solid revolution. The idea is let's suppose that we've got two curves. Like let's say this is y equals f of x and this is y equals g of x. And we want to take the region between x equals a and x equals b. So we want to take this region here and we want to spin it around the x-axis to get some sort of solid region. The question is, what is the volume of the region that you get when you take this and you spin it around the x-axis? Now, when we were just spinning f of x around the x-axis, we sliced things and got disks. Now that we're spinning this funny region, when we slice, we take a slice here, and we lay it on its side, and we see what the slice looks like, we no longer get a disk. We get a washer. So what we wind up with is something that has an inner radius and an outer radius. The outer radius is f of x. The inner radius is g of x. And so the area of the disk, or sorry, the area of the washer is the area of the big circle, that's pi f of x squared, minus the area of the inner circle, that's pi times g of x squared. So that's the area that we get for each slice. So the volume of the solid is going to be the integral of that. So it's the integral from a to b of pi. I'm going to put the pi outside. f of x squared minus g of x squared dx. Not f of x squared, but f of x squared and g of x squared. So, for example, let's look at a region that we studied back when we were talking about areas. We want the region between the curve y equals square root of x and the line y equals 2 and the y-axis. So we want to take this region and we spin it around the x-axis to get a region that looks kind of like, well, it's a cylinder minus this bullet-shaped region on the inside. So in this case, f of x, the outer radius, is 2. g of x, which is the inner radius, is square root of x. a of x is pi times 2 squared minus square root of x squared. So that's pi times 4 minus x. And our volume is the integral from 0 to 4 of pi times 4 minus x dx. And that gives you pi times 4x minus x squared over 2, evaluated at 0 and at 4. And that gives you pi times 16 minus 8 which is 8 pi. So the volume of this whole region is 8 pi.